is Anil Ban Sarkar, working as assistant professor at IIT Mandi, India. So one of my favorite topic is basically beam scanning antennas for 5G and upcoming 6G applications. And that's how uh, in my current uh, publication in ITU Transaction Antenna Propagation, I have presented a very unique approach to design the beam scanning antennas for azimuth plane beam scanning applications. To do, to do so, uh, the two things are there. I need to care about the feeding as well as the transmission line. Means the entire structure should be in the azimuth plane. So I need to use some kind of annular geometry for the filling purpose as well as for the transmission line purpose. Here you can see the the the, the linear uh, the coplanar wave getting structure has been turned into a curvy linear the annular co coplanar wave getting structure for my application purpose or for my design purpose. Whereas also the transmission line the entire linear transmission line I I, I have been the transmission line uh, in such a way so that it can fit to the azimuth plane with the perturbation. Now for my design purpose, I have used the annular surface plasmonic theory for polarizer theory for my design. So this is very different from the usual transmission line field. The vertical electric field usually we find for the transmission line is not present here. The field electric field is basically in the horizontal plane and it transfers the energy in terms of the packet. So you don't require any ground plane for this kind of a design. So how you can design the antenna geometry then? So then after that, what I did, I put a, a, a very, you know, very closely spread radiating structure on the circumference of the transmission line that can probably provide the, the radiation pattern throughout the antenna geometry. This is the prediction. Now, how I implemented that? So I used the vector diodes with a very close proximity with the transmission line and the radiating patch. And depending upon the capacitance changes with the vector diode, the different, different you know, electric field orientation or electric field concentration has been changed throughout the transmission line, which is really caused to have the radiation in a particular direction. If you can see for this case, suppose if the D7, these diodes, all these diodes are turned on, the entire beam will be tilted in that direction. For this case, the second diode position has been turned on, so entire beam has been tilted in this direction. In, in such a way, you can have an entire azimuth plane beam coverage from this kind of a structure. And this is a fabricated prototype where the three vector diodes are clearly visible here inside the structure. And that's how you can achieve a complete azimuth plane scanning beam coverage from such kind of a plasmonic structure based media. So that's all from my side. And if you have later discussion, please write back to me to my email ID. I'll be happy to interact with you. <music>